Of course, it's good to hear win or lose from any of these candidates. They put their heart and soul into the last couple of weeks, months of running. Dr. Sam Nelson from the University of Toledo Political Science Department joining us once again. Good to see you. Provided insight tonight. I want to kind of rapid response, get some uh, reaction from what you've seen tonight. These Senate, this Senate race, half a billion dollars being spent on it, still so close. It is, it is close. It looks like all that advertising did have a big effect. It yeah. probably drove the negatives down. Yeah. Uh, as far as the representative race, state, uh, the House of Representatives with Derek Marin and Marcy Kaptur, and that's still being neck and neck. Yeah, I mean, that's very close. This is the closest race Marcy captor has been in probably uh, ever. since the beginning. Yeah, since right? ever. And so, you know, that, and, and who knows how that'll end up. The presidential race and what we've seen, we saw Ohio go early to President Trump. We've seen some of these, this blue wall. We've seen some of those go back and forth. You think that's going to continue to play out throughout the rest of the night? I think the rest of the night and well into tomorrow, it looks like it's playing out almost exactly as predicted by the polls. The, one of the biggest surprises you said, and I'm going to go back to the polls, you said th their accuracy has really surprised you. Yeah, I mean, I think the models of the electorate that the pollsters came up with, they, they knew what they were doing. They had a good handle on who was going to show up today. Well, that was one of the toughest things you said is finding those those who are registered voters, one, those who are actual voters, two, and those who are actually going to go out and vote. Yeah, I mean, there's a real art to what they did, and, and they're good at their jobs, it looks like. What, what are you going to be looking for in the next few hours? I think to see what we, as we get more returns from Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin, are those races going to continue to track the way we expected? Urban vote in Philadelphia, in Milwaukee, in Madison, Wisconsin, in Detroit, yeah. in Oakland County. One thing that you and I were talking about at the polling location, we've got 30 seconds left. We said some of the issues that Toledo voters face today, money issues, a lot of them. A lot of them are passing. Surprising? Um, no, not too surprising. As long as they're renewals, they generally pass. New money often doesn't, but if it's a popular uh, issue, then I think it tends to get support. It's been a long day. I know you were up early looking into a lot of, lot of items on the ballot. We appreciate your insight as always. Yeah. Thanks, Dr. Nelson.